Ever imagined robots as small as a single human cell working inside your body? What if these tiny robots could deliver medicines, inspect your pipelines, or explore the hardest to reach places, all powered by a battery smaller than a grain of sand? Sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, right? Well, MIT just made it possible. Hey there, tech enthusiasts. Welcome to Not So Techie. Here at Not So Techie, we're dedicated to exploring the latest and greatest in technology and scientific breakthroughs. Our mission, to make the world of tech accessible to everyone by breaking down complex topics into straightforward, easy to understand videos. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on exciting discoveries. Now, let's dive into MIT's groundbreaking invention, a miniature battery that's redefining the way we think about robots. What are these miniature batteries? The MIT team has created zinc air batteries so tiny that they are smaller than a grain of sand. To put it in perspective, these batteries are about 0.1 millimeters long and 0.002 millimeters thick. That's thinner than human hair. These batteries generate energy by absorbing oxygen from the air and oxidizing zinc. This process generates a current with a peak voltage of 1 volt, enough to power tiny sensors, circuits, or even a small robotic arm. Applications micro robots for healthcare and beyond these batteries unlock a world of potential imagine a tiny robot injected into your bloodstream to deliver insulin directly to your pancreas or micro robots monitoring your body's health diagnosing problems from the inside no surgery no invasive procedures just a robot silently working to keep you healthy and it's not just healthcare these robots can also detect gas leaks in pipelines or help monitor air quality in polluted areas they are built for environments where human access is limited, ensuring safety and efficiency. What makes zinc air batteries ideal? Zinc air batteries are known for their high energy density, making them ideal for tiny robots. These batteries have been used in hearing aids because they last longer and are reliable. What MIT did differently is they incorporated the battery directly into the design of tiny robots, making them fully autonomous. Previously, Micro robots relied on solar power or lasers to function. But that meant the robots had to stay in constant light or under external control, like puppets on strings. With these batteries, the robots gain independence and can explore deeper into spaces without needing external energy. Advantages of miniature zinc air batteries. Autonomous power supply. These batteries allow robots to operate without external energy sources, unlocking new possibilities in healthcare and environmental science. High energy density, zinc air batteries offer impressive storage capacity despite their small size, extending the operational time of micro-robots. Biocompatibility, the robots can be made from materials safe for human use, making them ideal for internal drug delivery or medical diagnostics. Versatility in applications, from medical use to inspecting pipelines and detecting air quality, the same concept can apply to various industries. Sustainability through self-disintegration, some future designs aim to disintegrate these robots once their task is done, eliminating the need for retrieval or causing environmental harm. Disadvantages and Challenges Limited Voltage Output With a maximum output of just 1 volt, the robots are currently limited in the types of tasks they can perform. More complex actions may require higher voltage. Energy Storage Issues Although zinc air batteries have high energy density, they may drain quickly in demanding tasks, limiting their operational life. Integration challenges. Developing robots that seamlessly integrate batteries and sensors without increasing size remains a challenge for engineers. Environmental sensitivity. Zinc air batteries need air to work, meaning the robots may struggle to function in oxygen-deprived environments, such as deep water or space. Safety concerns. Deploying autonomous robots in human bodies or hazardous areas comes with risks. Researchers need to ensure these devices won't malfunction or cause harm. Robotic Swarms and Future Possibilities MIT researchers are also exploring how these batteries could power swarms of tiny robots, similar to how ants or bees work together. Imagine thousands of micro-robots swimming through your bloodstream, cleaning polluted rivers, or mapping underground caves. This swarm behavior allows them to accomplish tasks that are impossible for a single robot to handle. Fun Fact Did you know that swarming technology is also being tested in space exploration? NASA plans to deploy robotic swarms to explore the moons of Jupiter and Saturn. These batteries could one day power robots that explore alien oceans. Challenges ahead and future improvements. 
This breakthrough is just the beginning. The researchers at MIT are working to increase the battery's voltage and explore more biocompatible materials. They aim to design robots that perform complex tasks autonomously, like delivering medicine or repairing tissues, without any human intervention. The ultimate goal? Robots that are small, powerful, and intelligent enough to sense and act on their own, offering new possibilities for medicine, environmental science, and space exploration. Summary and final thoughts. To sum it all up, MIT's zinc air batteries are pushing the boundaries of what's possible in microrobotics. These tiny powerhouses open new doors for medical innovation, environmental monitoring, and more. In the future, we may have robots that can work inside our bodies, explore deep oceans, or search for life on other planets. But as with any new technology, it's essential to tread carefully. While these robots hold exciting potential, researchers must carefully consider safety, sustainability, and ethical issues to ensure they are used responsibly. Thanks for sticking around. If this peek into the future of tiny robots fascinated you, hit that like button and share your thoughts in the comments. What other uses can you imagine for these micro-robots? And don't forget to subscribe to Not So Techie for more exciting updates on science, technology, and the future. Until next time, stay curious.